I'm telling you, people that said they loved us, we found out, both of us at separate times and different years found out that was not the case. Mm -hmm. And many relationships were tested. Our character was assassinated mm -hmm. um, and continues to be. Shout out to us. Okay. <laughs>
reflect or mm-hmm. reflect on your life. Because we're not going to say you're not going to go through pain. We're not saying that we're not yeah, you um, negating it, right? We're not saying that it's not important or that it right. don't exist. Right. None of that, you know, even mm-hmm. when it comes to polygyny. And it's pain mm-hmm. all around the board. Mm-hmm. Think about how yeah. it's pain in life. You have pain through childbirth, and then there's this beautiful baby that comes from it, and all these other things, and then there's pain in raising yeah. the child, mm-hmm. and all these different things. Absolutely. So, with a lot of beautiful things comes pain, comes struggle. You know, uh, my co wife, you know, made a comment about the, the plant to grow. Think about the struggle that that root right. has, okay. or the, not the root, the um, stem has, mm-hmm. or the you know the plant has to break through the the soil. Mm-hmm. Think about a beautiful butterfly and the struggle that it takes to get out of the chrysalis to be mm-hmm. this beautiful butterfly. A lot of beautiful things come from challenges, come from pain. Mm-hmm. Not saying that you have to have self-inflicted pain, though, in order mm-hmm. to have that. But pain, and you don't need that because pain is a part of life. Yeah, it's a part of life. I know people will see this video and will say, well, do I have to deal with this stuff in pollution? And I'm going through so much pain in this. Do I have to? And you guys make it seem like, you know, you should just go through the pain and everything is all hunky-dory and everything like that. No, we're not saying that. Right. We're saying that you have the choice. Like my wonderful co just said, you have the choice on what you want your happiness to look like. You have the choice on how long you want to wallow in the pain that you associated the meaning to Mm -hmm, that feeling mm -hmm. exactly you know because we had a number of women who the pain don't look the same for them when it comes to polygyny and some that has not even experienced you know that type of pain in polygyny so to to each his own when it comes to that so we can't make it a blanket statement around the board that polygyny causes pain Mm -hmm. it's what we associate with it even if it's done in a way that we are not pleased with, we still have the the the, the energy. We still have the yeah. intelligence, or we should, but we do have the choice on how we are going to utilize that in our lives. Are we going to let it destroy us, or you know, develop you us? You're going to build upon it, or what are you going to do? You're going to. You, I wasn't willing to bury my happiness. There's still good times to be had. I wanted to be responsible for that masterpiece of my own happiness. You know, imagine doing a project and your name is attached to it and it does so well and it's a success. You want to be associated with it, don't you? <laughs> what if you had to do all this work? I had to do all this work to get to, to, to be linked to it, you know, mm-hmm. and put your name on it. Right. So you had to tell yourself, look, I got to do this work. It's not going to be easy, but I'm going to do it. I've seen people fight for less than the success of their marriage. Right. I've seen them fight for less. They'll sit in a line at a gas station when the gas is cheap for an hour Girl. to fill up the car. They'll go to Popeyes and get their little whack chicken sandwich <laughs> for hours and days. <laughs> like, I couldn't get it. But you won't fight that hard for your marriage? No, ma'am. <laughs> no, ma'am. I'm not doing that. So, Or not even just your marriage, your happiness. The happiness. And then the marriage, well, the, the marriage, if everybody's doing their work, you have a fulfilling marriage before you know before you know it, but what you not what you don't get to do is have it overnight. And everybody, how did y'all get for, how did you become close? It wasn't overnight. <laughs> you don't build a house overnight. <laughs> Everything. And it took, yeah, it took the choice. Work. You gotta make a choice. The work, the choice, we made that. Yeah. And here's the thing that I, I wanna let wires out there to um know and understand if you you don't see it. Mm. Your husband marrying again does not take away from his marriage from you. It don't. Don't erase it. It don't erase that. Mm -mm. He still married to you. He Mm. did not toss you to the side. He did not get anybody to replace you. Mm -hmm. You are still his beautiful wife. Like, Mm. I really, truly... I don't know how how many times I can say because people don't really listen to me because I'm a sexual person. I don't know what I'm talking about. However, um, Lord, that that's the thing that I want people to see that polygyny does not erase the initial marriage or the first marriage or anything like that. You guys have this time. Continue yeah. to build on that time. It doesn't stop. My co-wife right. says that just because this is not a, mar- a marriage begins does not mean that this one ends. All right. And if it, and if they say that you have paperwork, <laughs> we got paperwork. <laughs> we know our marriages are valid. You know, we we both 
both have contracts. So and we, we decided to abide by those contracts. So it's not something and, and no no polygyny didn't ask to erase your marriage. Stop. Stop <laughs> so putting it on it. Chris, stop putting it on polygyny. It really didn't. I mean only you can do that. Mm-hmm. Only you and your husband can make your marriage disappear, honey. Indeed. I don't care what nobody tells you because you gotta decide was that video that I was like I, I could have been a rapper in another life but the video know. was get your weather together you got to decide whether or not you're gonna do this to the best of your ability it doesn't mean it's easy or you're not it's that simple and we don't want to make it black and white because it's hard and we want it to be easy right and it ain't easy okay but it can be less hard or easier if you're going to do the work and the work is planting a seed is to decide that you're going to change for the better, not for the worse. Because some people go, they'll go for it or they'll go in reverse and then it'll just, they want it to be what it was before. But what if before wasn't the best that it could be? You know, you got to ask yourself that question because if I went back to how my marriage was, it wasn't in the gutter. But I'm like, I wasn't Coach Fatima then. And I wasn't helping as many people then. And I like helping people because I'm an ENFP. So I like that. That that makes me feel good to make change in the world. And I couldn't make change in the world focused on Coach and idea and my kids. Mm-hmm. So my art is in the world, but this is another level. And I really like it. So like Coach Nyla was saying, y'all are going to have to do work. And, and success and work. I'm just saying. <laughs> Only time that's <laughs> coming for work is in the dictionary, honey. You're not, you're not gonna get it any other way. Yes, exactly. <laughs> you gotta exactly. do the work first. Yeah, you have to. And put that in the comments. You gotta do the work first. Hashtag you have to do the work first. You gotta do the work first. Work first. Work first. Work first you know. in the comments, guys. And it's worth it. You'll find that it's worth it. And you can't see it now because you're in the muck of it. But I'm telling you, what is it with the diamond? We can talk about the blood diamonds, but you talk about the diamond coming up out the earth yeah. and it gets polished. But because it's in the dirt doesn't mean it's weak. Indeed. It's still a diamond. It's just not where it could be yet. So remember that, guys, when you're thinking that change can just come overnight. You really got to work, make that decision, plant mm-hmm. that seed and decide to grow and decide that you, you're just as happy as you're going to you want to be. Exactly. You know? So no, yes, you know, <laughs> and let the pain propel you forward, not push you back. Yeah. So until next time, yes. make sure you are growing intentionally, loving fearlessly, and connecting on a higher level every, every single, single day. day. All right, guys. <laughs> See you soon. Assalamu alaikum. Peace. Here are three ways outstanding personal relationships can help you. Make sure you guys are following us on our social medias at Outstanding Personal Relationships on YouTube and Facebook and on IG at Outstanding Relationships and also Clubhouse under our names. And make sure you go to OutstandingPersonalRelationships.com and sign up for our email list. And there you will get updates on our new book, Let's Talk Polygyny Uncensored. Absolutely. And last but not least, when it comes to coaching or counseling if you want to work with us one-on-one or in group settings make sure you're on that website and reach out to us because we do have very limited spots and we like usually have a wait list so with that being said glc make sure you are growing intentionally loving fearlessly and connecting on a higher level every, every single, single day, day. Stone Stone Lake. Lake. Peace. peace.